What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video and I'm just checking in on you. How's it going? What's going on? Now today is April 16th and this is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But we're going to start off here in Washington, D.C. and then we will finish up in New York City. City. Our first uh, vendor is going to be at the base of ops. Here we go. Looking to deal? Now, starting off at the top, we have the Henri. This is the named electric chess piece, and it comes with perfect companion for that talent. Now, this week it comes with health and hazard protection. Next up, we have a MP7 with optimal range and stabilize. Following that, a Black Market AKM with Armor Damage and Strained. That's really good. That's a really strong weapon. Um, mm, I'm going to have that as a must-buy, actually. Pick that one up. Armor Damage and strain. The longer you fire it, the more crit damage you get. That would be sick. Put that on a tank build, and then the, the longer you're firing at them, the harder you're going to hit them. And look at that base damage. I mean, that's sick. And that's not even maxed out or expertised. I mean, I'm going to pick one up myself. And finally, for the weapons, a first wave PF45 with a rate of fire and flatline. For the gear items, we have an Alps backpack with uh, skill damage, headshot, and galvanize. And a Brazos chess piece with explosive delivery, repair skills, and headshot damage. Looking at the mods, we have headshot 7.6. Drone Armor Repair, 6.4. Turret Skill Haste, 5.9. And Sticky Bomb Blast Radius of 4.9. Now, must buys things to look for from the base of ops. Um, the Black Market AKM is going to be the only one that sticks out. Pick this one up. Try it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. I promise you. Now, moving on to the countdown vendor. Just a reminder, the countdown and clan vendors are also in New York City. So I'm going to show you them here, but they're the exact same uh, in Washington, D.C. and New York. Speaking of which, here is your countdown vendor. Our three named items of the week. First one, the safety distance. This is the named SIG MPX with perfect outsider for that talent, which makes this thing a laser beam. Once you get that kill, this thing will shoot lasers. It's ridiculous. Um, side note, I've never done a safety distance build, but if you want to see one, just let me know in the comments. Just say, you know, safety distance build or whatever. Now this week, it comes with uh, fairly high SMG damage, so you could pick this one up and just recalibrate that magazine size off for whatever it is you want, and you're good to go. I would probably go towards, you know, damage to targets at a cover for that bottom attribute. Next up, we have the Caesar's Guard. This is the named Empress chess piece with Perfectly Skilled, and it comes with Explosive Resistance and Weapon Handling. And finally, the Devil's Do. This is the named Seska backpack. Is it Cheska? Cheska, right? I think I'm butchering that one. Let me know also if I'm butchering that one. I, I try not to butcher these names, but sometimes I do. All right, anyways, uh, named Cheska Backpack with perfect clutch, weapon handling, and hazard. That hazard is really nice with this brand set. Remember, two pieces of the Cheska will also give you hazard. So that would be good. Just recalibrate the weapon handling off for crit chance, crit damage, anything like that. All right, so that's it for the countdown vendor. Uh, out of those three items, the only one I would really recommend would be the safety distance. The perfect clutch is very niche, and uh, you would have to use that with a hazard build to take full take advantage of that backpack. So right. I would only recommend that safety distance. Now, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. We are on all platforms. Uh, check out my Discord server to uh, get on the list for uh, the next time we have uh, openings for whichever clan. And uh, speaking of which, here is the clan vendor. Now, starting off at the top, we have the Proxy. This is the named Palisade Steelworks backpack with perfectly tamper-proof. And it comes with uh, skill haste and explosive resistance. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this backpack. 
Uh, I tested it out during the PTS. It was fun. You could use this with the uh, decoy and have it shock and explode people. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, but again, it's more like a gimmick in my opinion. Anyways, using this with skill haste, you could easily, um, I don't know, change that explosive resistance for whatever it is you want, and then you could keep throwing out decoys and uh, hive turret, whatever, to uh, shock your enemies. Moving on to the gear set items, we have a cavalier pair of knee pads with armor regen for that bottom attribute, and a cavalier mask with explosive resistance. Myself, I would probably only go for Hazard if I were to use a Cavalier build, but to each their own. That armor region's okay, but again, I'd probably skip both of those. And for the Hardwired, we have uh, Status Effects. That's okay as well. It just depends on what skills you're going to use with the uh, Hardwired. But the cool thing about Hardwired is you don't have to worry about the core attributes. You can change that Status Effects for whatever it is you want. Going to the high-end items... We have a infantry uh, uh, MG5, max damage to targets and a cover. I was just thinking magazine size, put that on like True Patriot. Like the, the first thing I, I thought of when I saw this LMG was True Patriot, so much so I forgot the dang name of the weapon. But the steady handed, I'm not a huge fan of that. So I would definitely change the steady handed off. But just a reminder, if you were to go magazine size, I don't know, you would... uh. I don't know. The MG5 is really nice, though. That thing hits with that high RPM. Mm. True Patriot, that would up the magazine even more. That could probably work. I don't know. Getting carried away. Converted SMG9 uh, headshot and flatline. I would not run flatline on the SMG9 because you can't have the linked laser pointer. Military M9 swap speed, lucky shot. No. Moving on to the uh, other high-end items. We have a random weapon right here. Black Market SM, uh, SASG-12 Crit Chance Bread Basket. It usually just goes weapons, gear items. And then uh, for your gear items, we have a Bellstone Mask, Explosive Resistance, and Skill Haste. Douglas and Harding Knee Pads, Headshot, and Skill Haste. And a Badger Tough Backpack with Health, Skill Haste, and Creeping Death. Whole bunch of Skill Haste everywhere for the mods we have incoming repair 17.5 blind death resistance 8.9 crit chance 5.0 and turret plus one extra sniper uh these vendors are looking a little weird i don't know moving on that works any oh well any must buys from the clan vendor now that i think about it no not really even that mg5 i mean i was just thinking true patriot i haven't, I haven't touched that in a while but then again, I think of all the other brand sets that are better. So, Anyways, moving on. No must-buys from here. So we're going to travel to the west. We will double back east. Our first stop is going to be the campus settlement. Now, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And just remember, we do uh, daily division content. So make sure you have that notification bell on. That way you don't miss any of these division uploads. And here we go, Campus Settlement. Starting with the Forge, this is the named Richter and Kaiser holster with skill haste, or with eh, shield health as an attribute. We also have repair skills. I was fixated on that skill haste. <laughs> and then there's skill haste on the Habsburg. Stupid. Um, following the forge, we have a paratrooper SVD with magazine size lucky shot, a military MK46 with headshot and sadist. For the gear items, we have a Araldi mask with eh, hazard and explosive resistance. Max weapon damage, though, so that is interesting. I don't know how you would roll that one. Maybe go hazard headshot, put it on a sniper. And just have like full hazard just in case they throw skills at you maybe? I don't know. Uh, getting a little far-fetched. I'm not a big sniper fan. And uh, following that we have the Habsburg Guard with skill haste and crit chance. But the cool thing about this one is having crit chance. Remember Habsburg Guard that gives you headshot damage for that one piece brand set bonus. So if you use this for like say a crit headshot build... You could easily just uh, recalibrate that skill haste off for headshot. 
go crit chance headshot, you're good to go. Pretty nice. And it has that armor core, so you could be a little tanky and then go for the headshots. Even better. And you can match that up with that military AKM from the base of ops. Just saying. Just saying. All right. So for the campus, there was a... The only, the only thing I would recommend over there at the campus was the Habsburg Guard. Now, over here at the Dark Zone vendors, you have to first uh, check your DZ resources. Because to purchase anything from these vendors, you have to have DZ resources. That is their currency. So to do that, just uh, go over to your resource tab, and you can see your keys right here. Just above that are your Dark Zone resources. So you can see how many that you currently have. I have 206 out of 999. So if I need any more, I have to go into the dark zone, open up the little blue boxes, or I have to deconstruct contaminated items and uh, extract them to get those DZ resources. I would highly recommend just running around and picking up those little blue boxes, but that's just me. All right, so that's how you get the uh, currency. Now let's Come talk to the vendor. Here look. is dark zone Hoest. Yo, Emperor's Guard knee pads in the mother house. Uh, I didn't want to say MFN, so I just uh, skipped it. Um, Emperor's Guard. This is uh, pretty much one of the most sought-after items in the game as far as I'm concerned. I get asked about these knee pads all of the time, and whenever a vendor is selling these knee pads, it is a must-buy. However... This one comes with status effects. So I don't know. I don't know. The only way I could see working around that would be using the Ridgeway's Pride chess piece and uh, utilizing the armor region off of that chess piece and use the status effects from these knee pads with the chess piece, uh, increasing the bleed. And then that way, hopefully, you can... Uh, keep everyone bleeding around you and take uh, more advantage of the extra armor region that way. So these are good knee pads. These are must-buy knee pads. But you have to change the core attribute to an armor core. That's the only way to make these work. So keep the status effects. Put this with the Ridgeway's Pride chess piece because that's a bleed chess piece that also gives you armor region. That's where all of my vampire builds come from. All you have to do is look up, you know, Vampire Build Division 2, and you'll see my bleed builds that give you Armor Region. Um, and this would go perfect with that. So much so that I think I want to make a build around it. Um, I might do that. I, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to have to do a Vampire Build this week just because of these knee pads. I'm not going to buy these knee pads because I have the blueprint from Descent, so I'm able to just craft them. However, if you are looking for the Emperor's Guard knee pads, pick these up right now. They are great knee pads for armor region builds. Just make sure you change that core attribute to a armor core. All right, moving on. For the weapons, we have a military M870 with damaged uh, targets out of cover and ranger. And a M uh, M1A CQB with strained and crit chance. Looking at the gear items, we have a tip of the spear gloves with crit hit damage and tip of the spear knee pads with crit hit damage. Crazy. Following that, we have Walker and Harris gloves with weapon handling and status effects. And finally, Providence defense knee pads with crit chance and skill damage. What you could do with the Providence, um, recalibrate the skill damage off for crit hit damage, and you could have double crit knee pads. Um... Yeah, not bad. Looking at the mods, we have Blind Death Resistance, 8.5, Seeker Mind Damage, 4.3, Shield Active Region, 4.2, Firefly Skill Haste, 5.8, and Decoy Duration of 6.0. Now, must buys things to look for from DZ West, the Emperor's Garden knee pads. Pretty nice. That was a nice surprise. The very first DZ vendor, wow, Armor Region knee pads. Pick them up. Uh, that's pretty much it. I would never recommend the tip of the spear, but if you like tip of the spear, just, I guess, let me know. I've never, I don't think I've done a tip of the spear build before. Maybe one just for uh, fun, but 
Not a big fan. Moving on to DZ South. Going down south, the deep south. Starting with the Swap Chain. This is the named MP7 with perfect unwavering. This one comes with reload speed. Following that, we have a PP-19 with accuracy and spike. A FAL with reload speed and preservation. And finally, a 93R with damage targets at a cover and close and personal. Looking at the gear items, we have a Hot Shot Backpack with crit chance. Eclipse Protocol chest piece with status effects. Going Gear Backpack with Hazard, Explosive Resistance, and Energize. And finally, a Habsburg Guard chest piece with Hazard, Health, and Gunslinger. Going to the mods, we have Crit Chance 4.4, Drone Armor Repair 6.3, Turret Burn Damage 4.3, Sticky Bomb Blast Radius 4.8, and yeah, that's it. Uh, as far as must buys from this vendor, though, nah, I do not see anything worth mentioning. So much so that I'm like talking through it, and I'm like, man, all this is crap, man. I, I well, I don't even want to. I don't even want to look at this ish. But then again, if I'm not going to tell you what it is, you know, you'd never know. So knowing Combat is simulation half program. the battle. Active. Now that we're over here at the castle, make sure you run over here and interact with the doggy. Oh no, we just missed the dog. All right, well, we'll let the dog go on his little walk and uh, here we go, castle vendor. Starting with the darkness. This is the named marksman rifle with perfect eyeless. And this week it comes with accuracy, but it does have that max marksman rifle. So you could easily just recalibrate the accuracy for, say, damage to targets at cover, damage to armor, and then just optimize that headshot damage to max. And you're good to go. Put that with, like, a trauma or perfect trauma. I mean, you do perfect trauma with a Habsburg guard. Use that headshot with this. I mean, there's a whole build you could do with that. And then the Golden Gear backpack, perfectly wicked. I mean, come on. Moving on to the next one, we have a uh, classic M44 with uh, swap speed and fast hands. And finally, a tactical M249 with max swap speed and preservation. Looking at the gear items, we have a Overlord mask with crit damage, armor region, and a Douglas and Harding holster with crit hit damage and armor region. Looking at the mods, we have repair skills of 15.8. Chem Launcher Radius 5.8, Hive plus 4 Repair Charges, Pulse Radius 8.6, and Trap Duration of 4.2. Now, must buys, things to look for from the Castle Settlement. The Darkness is a good one. It reminds me of uh, that old Dave Chappelle skit. <laughs> Darkness. I love it. Um, as far as anything else from the Castle Settlement, nah, not really. Okay. And finally, for our Dark Zone vendors, we're going to go to DZ East. Now, for the named items, we had, uh, what? We had the Emperor's Guard, DZ West, and then we had the Swap Chain in DZ South. So, fingers crossed we get another good one over here. Scanning. We'll see. But as far as the other two go, the Emperor's Guard are the... Only, uh, that's the only thing I'd recommend, really. <sighs> the Commando... And the relic? Come on, man. Same old ish. All right, starting out at the top with the commando. This is the named SVD with eh, max reload speed and perfectly naked. Whatever. And next, we have the relic. Again, another named marksman rifle. I mean, that's three named marksman rifles in a row. This one with rate of fire and perfect determined. And finally, a black market RPK with max, max size, and in sync. You tearing out my... Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, moving on, we have a Foundry Bulwark mask with explosive resistance. Hardwired holster with skill haste. Empress mask with skill damage health. And finally, Richter and Kaiser holster with repair skills and weapon handling. Looking at the mods, we have Repair Skill 16.6, Chem Launcher Duration 4.2, Hive Plus 4 Stinger Charges, Pulse Cone Size 6.4, and Trap Duration of 
Now, must buys, things to look for from DZ East. Mm, nah, nothing. All right. And that leads us to our last stop in Washington, D.C., the theater. The theater. Going to the theater. All right, here we go. You need it. I've got it. Come check it out. I, I hope you do, man. I hope you do. Here we go. Big money, big money, no whammies. Ready to make a deal? The Baker's Dozen. This is the named classic M1A with perfect lucky shot for the talent, and it comes with mm, rate of fire. Moving on, we have a double barrel sawed off with magazine size and ranger. Mm, okay. A M16A2 with damage targets at a cover and steady handed. For the gear items, we have a Empress pair of gloves with explosive resistance and crit hit damage. And finally, Sokolov concerned knee pads with crit hit damage and status effects. Looking at the mods, we have Disrupt Resistance 8.3, Seeker Mind plus one cluster. Shield damage bonus 1%, Firefly blind effect duration 5.8, uh, and decoy health of 5.5. When are we going to get max mods? When? When? They have never, ever, 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 they have never sold max mods. All right. Uh, must buys uh, from the theater. Um, No, nothing. Uh, hold on. Sokolov concern. Yeesh, man, the weapon damage is so low, I can't even, I can't even pretend to recommend that. Ah, maybe. Okay, here, hear me out, hear me out, okay? Pair this up with the uh, firm handshake, right? Firm handshake is what? Sokolov Concern. You could have the firm handshake with crit hit damage and that status effects, have this pair of knee pads with crit hit damage and status effects. And then you could either max out the weapon damage here or mac make it an armor core and then put that with like a status effects build. Hmm, just saying, just saying. Looking at the mods. Disrupt resistance 8.3. Uh, Seeker mind plus one cluster. Shield damage bonus 1%. Uh, Firefly blind effect duration 5.8 and decoy health of 5.5. Now, uh, must buys from the theater. Um, not really, man. The double barrel is not bad. Just um, recalibrate the magazine size off for damage targets at a cover. And the Cyclops concern knee pads aren't bad. I already explained that one. Thanks. And that is it for Washington, D.C. So now we are going to uh, transfer over here to uh, good old New York, New York. Finish up with our last two vendors. Remember, we have uh, Marco at the top of the escalator and then Roy Benitez just outside. Now, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing and let me know what you're picking up today. Are these Emperor's Guard knee pads worth it? Let's discuss. And here is Marco. Hey there, you got something to trade? AK, okay, okay. Yo, hold on. Let me see here. I picked up both of them. Look. Looking to sell? I Looking would get the black market AKM over the AKM, but pick up both of them. These are both really good. They they got a buff, didn't they? The AKM didn't it get a buff? I mean, these damage numbers are stupid high, and that's compared to a shield splinterer that's at expertise twenty five. So I mean, these black market that oh man, the AKM's at one sixty three. I bet th these things could get over two hundred k easy. I might have to make an AKM build. I was just talking about how I don't use this weapon. If you were just talking to me about the AKM, let me know in the comments. I swear, I was just having this conversation about how I never use this weapon. And someone was like, why not? Maybe it's time to. Anyways, back to Marco. Hey, want to make a trade? AKM, damage to targets out of cover. All you have to do is recalibrate the talent for whatever talent you want. All right, good to go. Following that, we have a Negev with headshot and spike which, I, I mean, I guess you would want with Spike, so that's a good combination, but you'd have to be running that with a skill build. 
We have a SIG 716 with damage targets out of cover and boomerang. And finally, a custom PF45 with optimal range and close and personal. Looking at the gear items, we have a Grupo backpack with uh, skill haste, status effects, and galvanize. A Petrov pair of knee pads with crit hit damage and health. And finally, China Light holster with headshot and armor region. Looking at the mods, we have Headshot 6.9. Headshot, again, I hate when they do this. It's so, I don't know. In in my opinion, they should have like a and a person just like right before it comes out. Just double check your freaking vendors, man. Because to have Headshot on top of Headshot like this, one is 0.7 higher than the other. And all it is is uh, 10 credits more. So if you were to pick up one of them, definitely pick up the higher of the two. Ugh, hate that. Moving on, shield deflector damage, 4.3. Uh, chem launcher and snare duration, 7.6. And sticky bomb blast radius of 5.0. Now must buys, things to look for from Marco, the AKM. Pick this one up. It's nice. Just change the talent off for whatever it is you want. You could go Ranger. You could go Optimist. You could go uh, Strained. You could, I mean, there's there's different avenues you could go. Uh, but besides that, I, that's it. Just the AKM. Great trade. All right. And that leads us to our final vendor of the video. Roy Benitez. But wait. Make sure you interact with the dog. Pet the dog, man. Interact twice. The first one, you're just petting the dog, but the second one, the second one's random. He could do a circle. He could try to roll over. He could try to pet you, or he could try to shake your hand, pet you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyways, here we go. And what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, where are you going? That was it? Oh, oh. Hey. All right. And finally, Roy Benitez. What can I do for you? Starting with the Vector SBR 9mm um, with mag size. Nice, bro. So the Tactical Vector SBR 9mm has the highest uh, magazine size out of all the Vectors. However, it does have the lowest uh, total damage number. So with it having magazine size here as well, you could easily just put it with uh, True Patriot. And then you could have, uh, I don't know, even Brazos, Brazos and True Patriot, and you could have the highest magazine size out of any vector in the game. Now, the Future Perfect, though, is not a talent that I would want, so just recalibrate that talent off for whatever other talent you want. Moving on, we have a Surplus SVD with damage targets out of cover and Lucky Shot, a Spaz 12 with Swap Speed and Steady Handed, and finally, a Officer's M9A1 with Headshot and Determined. Moving on to the gear items, we have a Cheska. Am I saying it right? Cheska, right? A Cheska chess piece with uh, explosive delivery, crit chance, and repair skills. Ugh. I don't like repair skills on that or the talent. Moving on, we have a Bellstone Armory pair of knee pads with Armor Region Headshot. That's very nice. That's really nice. Um, Armor Region Headshot is a very strong build as long as you can hit your headshots. It's very important that you hit your headshots, but that's a very strong pair of knee pads to run for sure. Run this with two pieces of Golan and three pieces of uh, Heligard. Good to go. Um, and finally, we have a Richter and Kaiser Holster with Skill Damage and Headshot. Looking at the mods, we have Armor on Kill, 16k. I mean, that's okay, I guess. It, it goes all the way up to like 18.8k. So, again, we're never going to see a max mod for sale. Skill duration, 8.5. Turret, plus one extra mortar. A uh, pulse cone size, 6.3. And decoy health of 6.0. Now, must buys, uh, things to look for from uh, Roy Benitez. The Vector, good one. Just put it with a mag size build. It'd be nice. Um, the Bellstone Armory pair of knee pads. Very nice as well. Good work away. All right. I think that's it. Yeah. That is it for our weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, April 16th. 
Now, I know this video was a little bit late. I do apologize. We had some uh, breaking news to cover earlier, and I wanted to space out the videos. That way, you weren't missing any of them. So, if you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, please hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. I do daily division content, so just ring that notification bell and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And finally, shout out where you're from. It's always cool to see where everyone's from. And what are your thoughts about that Aaron Keener outfit? A lot of people are saying it's uh, trash. Let's discuss. All right. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.